Hi, I'm Julie Williamson, and this is a demonstration of the new author workflow and TAPS system. So here's a paper that I've already validated and checked. If you want to see how to do that validation process, please see the previous video in this series. But this paper has already passed its validation. You can see the links are already in here, and this is ready to be uploaded into TAPS. So once you've successfully had your paper accepted, you will be invited to upload your paper uh, to the TAP system like this. And on this page, there's information about how to prepare your files for upload. I've already set this up here. So we've got in here a few folders um, as uh, described on the TAPS page. There's a place to put your PDF, although in this case, I'm going to use the TAPS generated PDF. So this is empty. I'm going to have a place for my document source. This would be LaTeX or Word, and I'm using Word here. And there's a place for supplements. So these supplements can be all sorts of different types of materials. There might be videos, there might be images, there might be data files, there might be slides. This is where you'd put this so those would appear in the digital library. So to prepare this for upload, I need to put these folders into a single zip. So in this case, I would compress these items and name this file appropriately. In this case, my paper is uh, test 2018. So once that file is named and ready to go, I can upload that onto TAPS. So while that's uploading, uh, a number of things will happen now once TAPS begins processing this document. It will generate me the two column PDF, and it will also generate the responsive HTML file. In this case, I will check over those documents and then ensure that they are ready to be passed on to the uh, publisher, either the proceedings chair or the vendor to prepare the proceedings. Brilliant. So after about two minutes, you can see the notification come that this is ready to, for me to check the proofs. So I'll refresh this page. And from here now I can look at the different file formats that I've got. So I'll look at the PDF that's been generated. Um, brilliant, and so this is the two column PDF. And I can see if everything looks roughly how I want it and I can make some adjustments if needed, but I'm actually happy with this. The links are all here and they appear to be working well. I'll also wanna check the HTML5 file. So let's take a look at this. And here we've got uh, the HTML5, and again, the links are all here, the headings appear correctly, and I can check this over and ensure that I'm happy with it. And once I've done those things, then I can happily uh, approve this and send it on to the next stage of the publishing pipeline.